what's up guys? It's showtime for showtime shirt fitness over here. Size, growth, get big. Alright. So a couple things today. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the big holy cow dogs. The uh, the big big um, casino promotions and the um, we're having in the month of December, okay? And we also uh, watch the Super Bowl, okay? And then, um, yeah, it's about all we're covering right now. Um, you just get, you know, the dogs and everything, it's easy to get sidetracked over just one or two little things, right? So, knock it off. So anyways, the uh, the promotions, promotions for the casino. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. So you come in and every time you come in the casino for any reason, uh, at a table game, obviously you play whether it be blackjack or you know, um, pep, which is the progressive edge, player's edge, right? Um, you play that game. You play the, one of the poker games. We have thirteen of them, guys. Okay, so you come into Kyrie Bob's. It's just a Kyrie Bob's, right? It's not it, not the moose, nothing like that. Okay, even though the same owner, right? Um, but it's gonna be. Every time you're there, every two hours, you get an entry in there. So, I mean, if you play a lot, man, you get a shitload of entries, right? Um, so, once that, I believe it's the 14th of December hits, um, I've got it written down. It goes all the way through the 25th, which, of course, is Christmas, right? And it's going to start, um, it's six days a week. Uh, it's like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday thing, okay? And... Uh, they're going to call out, starting on the 14th of December, it's going to be called the 12 Days of Christmas. They're going to have uh, cash, like several thousand dollars of cash um, over this time frame, every half hour. Um, you either got to be present to, you got to be present to win, right? And, uh, but if your name is called, okay, then you get the cash points. And it's every half hour they draw a name out there, okay? Uh, and shit. You can win several times in a day if you got enough entries in there, right? Because they, they they throw your entry away if you win, but if you don't if you don't win, it stays in there. So if you got like 100 entries, you know, 500 entries, whatever it is, right? Um, and they pull one of them, you know, and you get the cash prize. Well, that one goes in the in the garbage, and you get 499 left, right? So you might win several times that night because between like it starts between like four and six at night, and it goes all the way until uh, one in the morning, okay? So it's pretty, it's pretty badass. Um, now, do they rule in? You know, I don't know. We got a, we got an owner right now that's awesome. He's gonna, put, he's just dumping uh, stupid money in there, like a, just, just a massive amount, especially for the month of December, right? Um, that's, that's a lot of times when uh, places are a little bit tighter with, with, with giveaway stuff, right? Um, Slower time of the year for a lot, of, a lot of businesses and this and that and the other thing. So less giveaways, less promotions. Of, not us, man. We're, we're giving out some 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 cool shit. So every half hour, cash money. You just got to be present to win with with entries in there, okay? And there there is entries going on every, daily. You can you can go in there any day of the week, man. And you can anytime you play for two hours or more, you get at least one entry in there. And every two hours you're in there, another entry, another entry, another entry. Just takes one to win, right? Um, that's it. So that's a big deal. Um, I heard I heard upwards of maybe he, this guy. This is this has got to be like something wrong with my hearing, right? An old man or something. Sixty thousand dollars. Is that sound right? In 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 twelve days, every half hour, that sixty thousand spread out. Sounds like a good deal to me, right? Um, sounds like a couple of those drawings. You know, you would only need to win once, right? So when I find out exactly what it is. Uh, numbers wise, I'll get a little bit more into the nitty gritty on it. I uh, watched with my son the uh, Super Bowl, right? Because he, he played against the Coyotes, and, and uh, I thought, okay, he's, you know, he's my son and, and stuff, so you know, I tend to see things a little bit different, and, and maybe it wasn't quite as good of a game as I thought. The game was phenomenal on both sides of the ball. These athletes, these kids, um, played really good ball, and the game could have went either way at any time. Um, and and uh, all the, the yards that he got, you know, um, he got 103 yards uh, in rushing, Clef did, scored one touchdown, but it got called back as a holding call, but we're counting that anyways, right, because we scored on the very next play, so we can count that as a hold, because if he didn't, uh, his teammate had a hold, he got in there anyways, just not so much as, a, as an ego thing, um, and not as an official thing, just as a, 
is, is a calculated thing. Like, hey, you know, how did you do this, this and that, just to kind of see, you know, how did you play, how did you do this and that and the other thing. Um, it doesn't really matter one way or the other. If it got called back, not get called back. It's how did he execute in the game? Did he get an official touchdown, no touchdown on the wall? He got 103 yards, okay? If there's a touchdown there, there's no touchdown there. Um, still relevant. He played awesome. I remember he had a very good defensive game, so I thought, well, maybe he didn't play so good on offense because his adrenaline's pumping, right? You can't remember shit. No, he's, he played really well on offense, too, through some great blocks and all kinds of stuff and, and had some great runs as well. So, uh, that, But both teams uh, played very, very well, and uh, it uh, it could have went either way. That whole, th all the way through the game, it was anybody's ball game. Uh, to, to almost the very last second, so that was pretty cool there, and uh, he also got the extra point, which is a two-point conversion, right? We got almost all of ours, whether it be a one-point conversion or two-point conversion, they missed all theirs. I mean, this is, this is, uh, it, it's just, it's crazy, and nobody scored. This is how bad they won, and nobody scored in the fourth quarter uh, after the first four seconds, so four seconds into it, uh, the Coyotes scored because they were already like on the two-yard line or some crazy shit like that, right? When they when they moved the chains and you had to switch field sides of the field, if if there had been four more seconds in the third quarter, they'd have scored um, in the third quarter, not the fourth. So technically, they scored in the fourth quarter, four seconds into it. But 11:50, there's 12 minutes in a quarter, right? When we got the ball with 11:56 left in the in the fourth quarter, until the final buzzer, nobody fucking scored. Neither team did, and. Uh, and both teams ramming it down the other team's throat, just doing everything they could to try to get it, get it in there. And, and uh, you know, it's hard for either team to get past the 50-yard line. And shoot, you know, we had the shot to get uh, it was third and fourth and one, and uh, barely missed that fucker, right? And we were on like the 30-yard the line of theirs. That was one of the only drives on either team that had gotten that deep into the territory. Um, so you know, nail biter, you know, for either for either team and stuff. And this is grid kids, right? For Christ's sake, it's not freaking NFL, right? So this is a great learning experience. It's not, you know, people get too hung up on, you know, winning and losing. Um, where it's the fundamentals, it's it's the sportsmanship, it's the learning experience, uh, it's, it's it's building that foundation to to build upon for later years where it does count. You know, your high school, college, and and uh, if you are blessed enough to be college, and, and even more blessed yet to be NFL, right? Because let's be realistic, okay? Um, have those goals, and and uh, I'd, I'd rather have you set your high your goals too high and miss than set them too low and hit, right? Because then if you go, this is all there is, and this life sucks, and this and that, because um, you got no passion, you got nothing to look forward to. That's kind of death on a stick, right? So you want to set those goals high, and then if you don't hit them, you're still going to land pretty high anyways. It's going to be a higher mark probably than if you just set your goals too low and, and hit them. So I'd rather do I'd rather do that, you know, um, and just have I, I don't believe in that bullshit either about don't have a plan B because it distracts from plan A because just like in a casino, desperate money never wins, right? I think if you're too too focused like I have to win and succeed in this sport or in this endeavor or in this career or but I've got nothing I've got nowhere else to go, right? That's fucking scary, okay? Um, some people like that; they thrive on it, the burning the bridges thing uh, when they get the Vikings theory you know do what works for you um but yeah the, the, having a little bit of security sometimes gets you to that next level too so you're cool all right and showtime showtime trade fitness over here size growth get big